Agriculture in Mesoamerica, Wikipedia article audio. Agriculture in Mesoamerica dates to the archaic period of Mesoamerican chronology. At the beginning of the Aztec period, the early hunters of the late Pleistocene era led nomadic lifestyles, relying on hunting and gathering for sustenance. However, the nomadic lifestyle that dominated the late Pleistocene and the early Archaic slowly transitioned into a more sedentary lifestyle as the hunter-gatherer microbands in the region began to cultivate wild plants. The cultivation of these plants provided security to the Mesoamericans, allowing them to increase surplus of starvation foods near seasonal camps, this surplus could be utilized when hunting was bad during times of drought, and when resources were low. The cultivation of plants could have been started purposefully, or by accident. The former could have been done by bringing a wild plant closer to a camp site, or to a frequented area, so it was easier access and collect. The latter could have happened as certain plant seeds were eaten and not fully digested, causing these plants to grow wherever human habitation would take them. As the Archaic period progressed, cultivation of plant foods became increasingly important to the people of Mesoamerica. The reliability of cultivated plants allowed hunting and gathering microbands to establish permanent settlements and to increase in size. These larger settlements required a greater quantity of food, consequently leading to an even greater reliance on domesticated crops. Eventually, the Mesoamerican people established a sedentary lifestyle based on plant domestication and cultivation, supplemented with small game hunting. This sedentary lifestyle reliant on agriculture allowed permanent settlements to grow into villages and provided the opportunity for division of labor and social stratification. Early and Culturally Significant Domesticated Plants Domesticated Plants The most important plant in ancient Mesoamerica, is, unarguably, maize. Squash and beans are also important staples of the ancient Mesoamerican agricultural diet and along with maize, are often referred to as the Three Sisters. Richard S. McNeish completed an extensive archaeological survey of Mesoamerica, during which he found the maize cobs in caves in Tehuacan, Puebla. It was originally suspected that these cobs date back to circa 5000 BC, however after radiocarbon dating it was determined that these finds date to 3500 BC. The earliest dated maize cob was discovered in Gilanaquit's cave in Oaxaca and dates back to 4300 BC. Maize arrived at this point through the catastrophic sexual transmutation of Teos Inte, the ancestor of maize. It became the single most important crop in all of Mesoamerica. Maize is storable for long periods of time, it can be ground into flour and it easily turns into surplus for future use. Maize became vital to the survival of the people of Mesoamerica, this is reflected in their origin myths, artwork, and rituals. The maize god is depicted throughout Mesoamerica in stone figurines, carvings on altars, and even on temples, further signifying the importance of maize to the Mesoamerican peoples. Another important crop in Mesoamerican agriculture is squash. Bruce D. Smith discovered evidence of domesticated squash, in Gilanaquit's cave in Oaxaca. These finds date back to 8000 BC, the beginning of the Archaic period, and are related to today's pumpkin. Another important squash that was domesticated in the early Archaic period was the bottle gourd. The bottle gourd provided storage space for collecting seeds for grinding or planting as well as a means of carrying water. Squashes provided an excellent source of protein to the ancient Mesoamericans, 
as well as to people today. Another major food source in Mesoamerica are beans. Maize, beans, and squash form a triad of products, commonly referred to as the Three Sisters. Growing these three crops together helps to retain nutrients in the soil. Rubber trees and cotton plants were useful for making culturally significant products such as rubber balls for Mesoamerican ball games and textiles, respectively. Evidence of these ball games is found throughout Mesoamerica, and the performance of these games is related to many origin myths of the Mesoamerican people. The game had a ritualistic significance and was often accompanied with human sacrifice. The domestication of cotton allowed for textiles of vibrant colors to be created. These textiles are evidence of the Mesoamerican people's fascination with adornment and the cultural value they placed on appearance. Another culturally important plant was cacao. Cacao was used in rituals and was also used as currency in trade. The crops above are only a few of the domesticated plants important to the ancient peoples of Mesoamerica. Please see the section below for a more comprehensive list of ancient Mesoamerican domesticated plants. Notes Main Source Pre-Columbian Foodways A List of Mesoamerican Cultivars and Staples Asterisk Asterisk indicates a common English or Spanish word derived from an indigenous word. In to retain as many nutrients as possible. However, in the jungle environment, no matter how careful a farmer is, nutrients are often hard to retain. To combat the lack of large tracts of usable land, farmers in Mesoamerica have found ones, and others were created by cutting down large trees, and mounding soil around them. There is evidence that the Maya and the Aztecs used raised fields in some of the swampy areas, and onto the flood plains. However, the Aztecs also created floating plots of land called chinampas. These were plots of mud and soil, placed on top of layers of thick water vegetation. This farming style was imperative to the growth and survival bold text in. Much of the Maya food supply was grown in orchard gardens, known as pet cot. The system takes its name from the low wall of stones that characteristically surrounds the forest garden plot. The earliest dated maize cobs was discovered in Gila Naquit's cave in Oaxaca and dates back to 4300 BC. Maize arose through domestication of Teos Inte, which is considered to be the ancestor of maize. Maize can be stored for lengthy periods of time, it can be ground into flour, and it easily provides surplus for future use. Maize was vital to the survival of the Mesoamerican people. Its cultural significance is reflected in Mesoamerican origin myths, artwork, and rituals. The Mesoamerican natives also used irrigation techniques not unlike other early agricultural societies in early Mesopotamia. However, unlike the arid plains of the Fertile Crescent, the Mesoamerican area has a rougher terrain therefore making irrigation less effective than terraced farming and slash and burn techniques. Slash and burn techniques are a type of extensive farming, where the amount of labor is minimal in taking care of farmland. Extensive farming uses less labor but had a larger mark on the area around them. In opposition, Intensive agriculture refers to agriculture that requires large amounts of labor however yields continuous results from the same land, thus making it better suited for a sedentary lifestyle. <laughs>